Another vehicle recall, this time for explosive airbags. Does it affect you? Ford and Mazda issue do not drive advisory for 457,000 vehicles. Toyota has issued an advisory too. That's coming up at the end of today's show. The Ford and Mazda companies both put out their do not drive advisories on Tuesday for vehicles with Takata airbags. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homer Guy, hoping to get out this message to hundreds of thousands of Toyota, Ford, and Mazda vehicle owners. Meanwhile, Ford and Mazda on Tuesday instructed owners of some vehicles do not drive their cars due to them still having potentially dangerous airbags installed. The Amazing Elizabeth joins me with more details. Thanks, Kevin. The more than 500,000 total vehicles in the U.S. subject to the Do Not Drive advisories have Takata airbag inflators that urgently need repairs under past recalls, according to the automakers. Of those hundreds of thousands of vehicles, roughly 83,000 were Mazda, 374,300 fell under the Ford, Lincoln, and Mercury brands, and Toyota is recalling 50,000 vehicles. You might ask, what specifically is wrong with the Takata airbags? Well, in short, they have degraded and are explosive. Yes. The Takata airbag issue, which has affected millions of vehicles from various manufacturers, including Ford and Mazda, is primarily due to a defect in the airbag inflators. The problem lies in the chemical propellant used in the inflators, which can become unstable over time, especially when exposed to high humidity and temperature Mm. fluctuations. Here are some key issues with Takata airbags. Number one, explosive deployment. The defective inflators can cause the airbags to deploy with excessive force, resulting in the inflator housing rupturing. This rupture can send metal fragments like shrapnel into the vehicle's cabin, potentially causing serious injury or death to occupants. Yeah, that's scary. Number two is the aging propellant. The propellant used in these airbags, ammonium nitrate, can degrade over time, especially in hot and humid climates. Be especially careful in places like Florida, Texas, and Arizona, for example. As the propellant degrades, it becomes more volatile, increasing the likelihood of a violent explosion during airbag deployment. Not so nice to have a grenade go off in the cabin of your vehicle. No. Number three is widespread impact. The Takata airbag issue has led to the largest automotive recall in history, affecting tens of millions of vehicles worldwide, including many Toyota, Ford, and Mazda models. Number four, there have been injuries and fatalities. The defective airbags have been linked to numerous injuries and deaths globally. As of recent counts, over 30 deaths and hundreds of injuries have been attributed to the faulty Takata airbags. Here are the affected Ford and Mazda vehicles. For Ford, various models, including the Ford Ranger, Mustang, Fusion, and Edge, have been affected by the Takata airbag recall. For Mazda, several Mazda models, including the Mazda 6, RX-8, and B-Series truck have been involved in the recall. And then for Toyota, it's the Corolla, Corolla Matrix, and RAV4. So what should vehicle owners do? Before going any further, owners of affected vehicles are urged to contact their local dealerships to check if their vehicle is part of this recall and to have the defective airbags replaced as soon as possible. The repair is typically done at no cost to the vehicle owner. This issue has been ongoing for years, and automakers continue to work on replacing the defective airbags in affected vehicles. If you own a Ford or a Mazda vehicle from the affected years, it's crucial to ensure that your vehicle's airbags have been checked and replaced if necessary. In a press release, the Mazda warning reads, The do not drive impacts all customers that have not completed the following recalls, and hopefully these are familiar to you if you own a Mazda, 1317F, 1417G, 1817L, 1917L, 2118A, and 2618F. Mazda North America Operations said, This includes driver and passenger airbag inflators in the following my models and model years, 2004 to 2006 B series, 2003 to 2008 Mazda 6, 2006 to 2007 Mazda Speed 6, and 2004 to 2008 RX8 vehicles. Also included are passenger airbag inflators in the following models and my model years: 2007 to 2009 B series, 2007 to 2012 CX7, 2007 to 2015 CX9, 2009 to 2013 Mazda 6. 2004 to 2006 MPV, and 2009 to 2011 RX-8 vehicles. Ford, meanwhile, identified certain 2004 to 2006 Ford Ranger trucks, 2005 to 2014 Ford Mustangs, 2005 to 2006 Ford GT vehicles, 2006 to 2012 the Ford Fusion, Mercury Milan, 
Lincoln MKZ Zephyr vehicles, and 2007 to 2010 Ford Edge and Lincoln MKX models, and 2007 to 2011 Ford Ranger trucks as unsafe to drive until their already recalled airbags get fixed. In the U.S., numerous auto companies have been affected by recalled Takata airbags over the years, with the number of recalled airbags totaling around 67 million, according to the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, NHTSA. By the way, they have a great website. 27 fatalities and at least 400 injuries in America have stemmed from the defective inflators. The NHTSA noted some of the Ford and Mazda vehicles under Tuesday's Do Not Drive advisories are now more than 20 years old. Crazy. They've been using these Takata airbags for so long. Yeah. Which increases the risk of an airbag rupturing in a crash. Adding, if an explosion occurs, it can severely injure or kill the vehicle occupants. Ford and Mazda both said they have the parts and they're available now to do the necessary repairs on the affected vehicles. Owners can get the repair done by their local dealership with mobile service, towing and loaners being made available at both Ford and Mazda, the respective press releases said. The service fee will be free at each company, according to the NHTSA. Ford said on its website, the dealer will be able to tell you approximately how long the recall repair will take for vehicles with defective Dakota airbags. Mazda, meanwhile, has pegged its installation of a new airbag inflator at roughly an hour. Both of the automakers are reaching out to customers who have the affected vehicles through multiple methods. So if you happen to have one of these vehicles and you're hearing it from us for the first time, expect to hear from your dealer soon. As mentioned, also issuing a warning is Toyota. Toyota has issued a Do Not Drive advisory to 50,000 car owners over a potentially deadly airbag issue. Toyota said it would fix the affected Corolla, Corolla Matrix, and RAV4 vehicles at no charge. Toyota is urging the owners of these 50,000 vehicles not to drive their cars due to an airbag issue that could cause serious injury or death. The airbags in the affected vehicles are under an urgent airbag safety recall because they are involved in the Takata airbag recalls, the automaker said Thursday, in a do not drive advisory. Toyota said the driver or passenger of the affected vehicles could potentially face serious injury or death if an airbag if an airbag deploys because the vehicles had a part more likely to explode and shoot sharp metal fragments. Oh my goodness. Owners should not drive these vehicles until the free safety recall repair has been conducted, Toyota said. To add to this problem, Toyota recalled a million vehicles in the U.S. over short-circuit concerns. The recall covers various Toyota vehicle models from 2020 to 2022. The models include Camry, Corolla, RAV4, Lexus ES250 models, and various Highlander and Sienna hybrid vehicles from 2020 to 2022. The defect in the vehicle's airbag deployment system could potentially lead to malfunctioning occupant classification system sensors The sensors ensure airbags do not deploy if a small adult or child is sitting in the front seat. In summary, it doesn't matter if you have a Toyota, a Mazda, or a Ford. If you have these Takata airbags in your vehicle, you could be sitting on a time bomb. Metal fragments in the face sounds pretty deadly. It's like a grenade going off in your face, and deadly it is. Don't wait and become the next victim of a faulty Takata airbag. They can either explode, which is bad enough, or not deploy at all, which is equally bad. So let's close out today's show with a brief update on our hassle-free car buying service. We continue to come out on top in negotiations with dealers on behalf of our viewers. Kevin? You know, I said this not long ago. Out of all the things we've done to help car buyers, I'm talking about the entirety of the last 15 years of publishing videos. Our hassle-free car buying service is the best thing we've done for our viewers by a long shot. Our service offers nearly triple the savings as compared with competing services out there. Our service is also a ton faster. If people want to go slower, that's fine. But we have put people into a new car just 48 hours after they have contacted us. We can go that fast if you need it. If you're hearing about this car buying service for the first time, go to our website, thehomeworkguide.com, and read our detailed posting on what it costs and how it all works. The bottom line is this. If you're feeling intimidated or don't have time to fight with those car dealers out there yourself, just let us know. We're here to step in and help you. By the way, you should also know that our service is the only car buying service that saves you the hassle of negotiating with a finance officer. That's huge. We have that knowledge firsthand on other car buying services. It doesn't matter if you go with somebody like Costco or Car Edge, they are essentially the same. You don't really get the best deal, and to add insult to injury, you're still stuck with negotiating in dealer finance. And that sucks. And that, my friends, is by far the worst stop you'll ever make in a car dealership. We don't leave you to the mercy of people like that. We pre-negotiate and coach you through every single step. 
Thanks to all of you out there in the audience for coming back. We greatly appreciate your loyalty. To all of our longtime subscribers, you guys rock. God bless you all. I'm Kevin Hunter, the homework guy, the home of the only totally hassle-free car buying service. Signing off on behalf of the amazing Elizabeth and the entire homework guy team. Thanks for listening.